Good morning Year 6 and welcome to Thursday's Maths lesson. So today we are going to be comparing and ordering fractions, decimals and percentages. Okay, so let's match these equivalent fractions, decimals and percentage up, oops, per, per, per. percentages up first. So if we go for yellow then let's start off. Now I'm going to do the ones that I know. So I know that the three hundredths is 0 0.03 because zero the 3 is in the hundredths column which is going to be 3% I know that a half let's change the color I know that a half is the same as 50% which must be 0 0.5 so then my one that I've got left is 3 twentieths matched to 0 0.15 match to 15 percent okay so let's have a look here then we are going to order these numbers from the smallest to the greatest now these numbers we've got decimal percentage and a fraction so i'm going to convert everything to percentage now i'm going to do this because i think this is the um, easiest way to look at whether a number is bigger or smaller so 95% can stay the same, so that's going to stay as it is. Three quarters, now from yesterday's, sorry not yesterday's maths lesson, from Tuesday's maths lesson, we should be able to, to know that three quarters is the same as 75%. Okay, I've put a document on the website for yesterday's maths lesson, so Wednesday's maths lesson, that will help you with some fractions, decimal and um, percentage equivalences. So 0 0.97 as a fraction would be 97 hundredths. I need a percentage, so that's going to be 97%. So from smallest to greatest, I've got 75%. Oops. I've then got 95% and then 97%. Now, because I didn't start out with all percentages, I now need to convert back. So 75% is in fact three quarters, because that's the number that we were given. 95% is the same, and then 97% was 0 .0, sorry, 0 0.97. Okay, so it would go three quarters, 95%, and 0 0.97. Okay, then here we have got a number line, and it's asking us to place these decimals percentages and fractions on this number line so if i count then we've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 1 so we have got increments of 10 so we've got 90 percent so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 so 90 percent is going to go there on that line just make that a little bit smaller so we're not going across the one hole so 90 percent is there on that line there okay then 75 0 0.75 so that would be seven tenths five hundredths 75 over a hundred which would be 75 percent okay and then this one here would be 55 percent 55 over 100 now remember we've got to put on the original numbers so 0 0.75 so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 the next one's 80 so it's going to come in between so instead of writing 75 percent we would just put 0 0.75 now that's in the middle okay and then 55 out of 100 so 10 20 30 40 50 50, 55 hundredths would go in the middle there. Okay, so I'm just going to put an arrow just to show where that would go. So in the middle. And then my 75 would also be in the middle there as well. Okay, always remember to put the original numbers that you have on the number line. Okay, here we have got... Um, statement and it's asking us to find a percentage to make the statement correct so 0 0.2 is less than a percentage which is less than a quarter 
So we need to know 0 0.2 as a percentage. Right, so that would be 2 tenths, which converted it to 100 would be 20 hundredths. So as a percentage, that would be 20%. So I need to find um, a percentage that's greater than 20% but less than a quarter. Now I should know that a quarter straight away is just one of these fractions and percentages and decimals that you should just know is 25%. So it's got to be greater than 20% but less than 25%. So I could have 21%, I could have 22%, I could have 23% and I could even have 24%. Okay, because all of those percentages are greater than 20%, but they are all less than 25%. Okay then, so your work today is, you are going to be ordering and comparing fractions, decimals and percentages. So you have got um, seven questions to complete, okay? Remember, if you have a percentage and then a decimal, Convert it into the same, so either percentage or decimal, and then you will be able to complete the sentences using greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay? This one here, remember to always put the number that you are given. So you may convert them to make it easier to work out, but you need to make sure that when you place the number on the number line, it's the number that the original number that is in the question. Okay then, so I would like you to have a go at those questions and then Pause the video here and come back when you are ready to do problem solving and reasoning. Okay, so problem solving and reasoning today. Let's have a look at our first question. Max has put these fractions, decimals and percentages in order from smallest to largest. 0 0.9, 1 8, 0 0.72 and 57%. Is he correct? Explain your answer. Okay, so... I'm going to convert all of mine into percentages. So 7, 0 0.72 is 72 hundredths, which equals 72%. Okay, so we've got 72% there. So I can already see that smallest to largest, that that is larger than that. So I can already see that he's made a mistake straight away. So 0 0.9 is 9 tenths, which is the same as 90 hundredths, which is the same as 90%. Oh, so that's even that's even bigger. 90%, okay. So now I've got 1 8. So I need to, or what I'm going to do to work out my percentage with this, because, one, because 8, the denominator, is not, oops, wrong way, is not an easy number to get to 100, I'm going to do short division. So I'm going to do 1 and I'm going to di divide that by 8 using the bus stop method of short division. Okay, so let me just draw, oops, we've got arrows for lines today. Let's just get an, a straight line across. Here we go. Okay, I know straight away that I'm going to need decimal points. So I'm going to put that in at the bottom and don't know why it's said here there and then one up here as well. And I'm also going to put in a zero to get me started. Okay. Oops. Not there though. There we go. Okay. Eight into one is zero. And we need to carry that one across to the next term. So, next zero, sorry. 8 into 10 goes one time, and we need to carry 2. So, put a 0, and we are carrying 2. Okay, 8 into 20 goes 2 times, and I need to put another 0. 8 times 2 is 16, we've got 20, so we've got a remainder of 4. And then 8 into 4c goes 5 times. So as a percent, uh, sorry, as a decimal, 
it is 0 0.125. To make that a percentage, I need to do 0 0.125 multiplied by 100. Remembering that when we multiply by 100, we need to move all of the digits however many places to the left to make it the number bigger. So I know that all of the numbers are going to move two places to the left, which will give me 12 point, I just go over here so we can make it a bit clearer, 12.5%. So this is my percentage for an eighth, 12.5% there. Okay, so is he correct? No, oops, no, um, max is incorrect because 90, 0 0.9 is the largest, 1, 8 is the smallest, And 0. Point, if I can spell, and 0. 0.72 and 57% will go in the middle. Okay, nice answer there. And also, if you show your working out, that will also help with your answer. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Holly says, if I eat 87.5% of popcorn and Keris eats 7 tenths, I will have eaten the most. Is she correct? So 7 tenths, if we convert that to make our denominator 100, we would be times in 10 by 10. So we need to multiply 7 by 10, which is 70. So 70 hundredths, which would equal... 70% because remember percentage means out of 100. So if Holly eats 87.5% and Keris eats 7 tenths, which is 70%, Holly will have eaten the most. So is 87.5% greater than 70%? Yes. So is she correct? Yes, she is correct because um, 7 tenths as a percentage equals 70%, which is less than 87.5%. Okay. Always remember when you are answering problem solving and reasoning questions that you may have to write a sentence, but please also show your working out as well, because that will always help with your answers and your marks as well. Okay then, so some few tricky questions there. So your problem solving and reasoning questions are also on ordering fractions, decimals and percentages. So bronze questions 1, 2 and 3, remember only 3 questions. Silver questions 4, 5 and 6. And then gold questions 7, 8 and 9. Some quite tricky questions today. But please remember to always convert into, um, I convert it into percentages because I find that easier. However, you may find converting into decimals easier or converting it into fractions easier. It's whatever works for you. Please remember to upload your work to Dojo and we will be able to give you back some feedback on your work. Have a super day, year six. Bye.